Good morning, it is Wednesday and it's 10 past seven. So I had the opportunity to lie in this morning. Well, I say lie in, a seven o'clock alarm is a lie in for me these days. Billy kept waking up and going and scratching the door and wanted to go outside. I think Ellie let, let her out at some point during the night, but she wants to go out. So we left her, it's time to get back in a basket. And then she really did get, kind of get up and start being a bit annoying. So. So I got out of bed and I was like, right, that's it. You have to wait till I'm ready. Just wait till I'm ready. And I got myself up and got myself ready. Came downstairs. Just went back in a basket. So I got up for no reason, but I was already awake by then. So I just thought, you know what? I might as well get up and get a few bits done. So I've just been loading the dishwasher, loading the washing machine, cleaning the sides down, the usual. I'm gonna steam up the floor this morning. I'm gonna make my coffee first. And then I'm gonna steam up my floor. Just put them under there because it needs doing desperately. At least then that'll be done. I've put my cloths into soap because I have dishcloths, the reusable microfiber ones on my draining board, and they always smell and I hate it. So that's that. I think Tom has brought down stuff for the bin very kindly out of his room. But our bin is full, like full to capacity. So I have stuff piled by the back door that really needs to go to the tip. Anyway, I'm going to get on and mop this floor, make the drinks first, mop the floor, and then I'm going to probably do a bit of a crochet or something, just something completely like usual. <laughs> no physical activity for me. I'm going to try and do something today if I can. My back's feeling a lot better. Hips are still sore, but I think that's just me. And... Uh, my stage of life maybe. Started on my new sort of dosage of tablets today. So let's just hope the help. Let's just hope everything is better. Um, I had a positive message off, I think it was Joy, on my video from the other day and basically said that all of her migraines and things went when she went into menopause. So it gives me hope for the future that things are gonna get better. And it's just this stage that I've just got to try and get through. So thank you for that comment. It makes me feel so much better that I'm not like dying or got something seriously wrong with me and it is normal so thanks for that but yeah i'm gonna do my cleaning and i shall catch you in a bit It's 10 past 10 and I've come down now to make something to eat. So I'm gonna make some scrambled egg and either bread and butter or toast. I've got the bread maker on because the loaf from yesterday is nearly all gone. And I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Just Spaniards Chef White, so I'm gonna put them out to dry as well whilst I'm down here waiting for everything to come together. I'm gonna drop in the eggs doing that. So yeah, that's um, where I am so far this morning. And I shall catch you, hopefully, to show you my scrambled egg when it's ready. Here's my scrambled egg, and I've got 88 grams of bread with um, 8 grams of the Morrison's Lighter Spreadable. And I've got a cup of tea. So that's my breakfast. Bread maker's on, washing is out to dry, so I'm going to go back to work now. <laughs> I'm it for a wee, actually. Um, my scrambled egg might be cold because it was cooked, and then I started getting the washing out, but... It is what it is. I just want to get it done because I forget otherwise. It is brightening up outside, although there are still some grey clouds out there. So hopefully it will be brightened up a bit for later. And she might she actually might manage to get out for a walk at some point. Anyway, back to work I go and I shall catch you in a bit. It's 20 past two and I haven't taken a lunch break yet. So I've come down to get something to eat very quickly. And I'm having one of these. So this is a chicken tikka masala with chickpea pilau rice. 
and it's 434 calories, 28 grams of protein. And that's what this looks, looks like before you cook it. I'm gonna stick it in the microwave and then carry on working. I'm actually popping out with you in at three o'clock to the bakery place where I've got the cakes from because he wants to go and have a look. Microwave on full power for five minutes. Stir, add a tablespoon of rice to the, tablespoon of water to the rice, recover for three minutes. I'm just gonna stick it in for eight minutes. I'm not about messing about with that. I'm just gonna mix it all together anyway when it's cooked, so. I'm gonna go and make it all. Ed is having a salt and pepper chicken one, I think, because he's not fond of chickpeas, so I'm going to have this one. Did it say tear back the... Pierce the lid, yeah, I thought so. I missed that bit and thought, did you have to pierce the lid? That's really unusual. So, yeah, busy, busy morning. I'm trying to quickly, when I've heated my dinner up, I'm going to quickly try and edit my video so it's ready because yesterday I was really mad it was the first day that I missed five o'clock because I had to go and pick my sister up and then by the time I got back I had issues trying to get it uploaded and all sorts so I'm a bit disappointed with myself because I've managed to hit the five o'clock deadline all through September and so far for October so I was a bit cross but never mind I got it up eventually I think it was up for seven o'clock and that was because YouTube were doing the checks and it took ages Anyway, how long have I put that on for now? Five minutes. I'll do. Eight minutes. So yeah, so I'm going to aim to have this one up on time today because I'm popping out at three. I thought I might as well just, while I'm waiting for this to heat and when I eat it, I can quickly edit. And then it's not a very long one from yesterday because I was just really super busy and obviously had the doctors and stuff. And that's what caused the problem is I've been editing at lunchtime mainly. Sometimes I've edited before work, but I've been editing at lunchtime and I was at the doctor's, so anyway, I'm gonna go and I'll show you, hopefully I'm gonna show you when I dish it out. I have been a bit crap recently with my food and I don't know if, it, like I say, whether it's me pressing, I've looked on the Amazon Prime days and I've not had the camera on there that I wanted. I've not looked today, actually. I looked yesterday. I started this morning, but got distracted. So I'll have a look. Also, anyone that's signed up to the crochet cal calendar that I'm doing, the crochet along, not calendar, crochet along, um, I actually had a moan today. Well, not a moan, but I actually posted in the Black Sheep Walls Make Along Facebook group. So they've got their own Facebook group as well. Because I downloaded, the pattern came out yesterday and I downloaded it and I printed it off. And then in the afternoon, an update came out. So I waited till today and I thought, right, I'm going to print it and update it because I don't know what's changed. They haven't said what's changed, so I'll just print it off again. And obviously I'm printing it for me and my sister at the moment. So I did that, been the original thinking, I can't bother to have a look through, I've got the updated version. And literally within about 10 minutes, another updated version came through. So I just put in a Facebook group and I put, is anything different with this updated version to the previous updated one you sent out? Because I don't want to print it again and find it's not any different. I haven't got time to sit and go through it. So there's someone else replied back saying, I was thinking the same thing. They need to put on the thing pattern updated because of an error on page three or whatever, rather than just sending it out and not saying. Anyway, they did reply back saying, if I've got the updated version, I shouldn't need to print off the second updated version. This other person's had about four emails with updates on. So I don't quite know what they're doing. They then put a separate post on the same group and said, apologies with, with you know, we've had issues with downloads and various other things. So I don't know what's going on there, but I was a bit unhappy because obviously I've got my own personal printer that I we pay for ink, pay for the paper. Last thing I want to do is pay, print off multiple copies of the same thing. I'm not the sort of person that can work off an electronic copy, even with my iPad there, because it frustrates me when it goes off, but also I just can't seem to follow it the same way. I like a paper copy that I can mark. I know I'm old fashioned. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that in case you're doing it as well and you get <laughs> you moan and you think, oh, you know, I recommended it and then there's these issues. I'm aware of those issues. I didn't know about it until after obviously I would started doing it, but. It hasn't deterred me from doing the blanket. The blanket is still a good pattern and I'm still enjoying it and I can't wait for it to be finished. But obviously things like that are frustrating. They should be tested before they come out. They shouldn't need to do any updates, but the odd thing can happen, so that's fair enough. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt this time. Here's my lunch. So this is the chicken tikka high protein meal and um, yeah, nothing else to report really. And I shall catch you later. Don't swear, I'm videoing you. <laughs> yeah. 
So I've been out with Kath to Starbucks. I did record a tiny bit, but not much. It was really busy and we sat right in the middle and it wasn't as comfortable as last time. We sat on this like normal sort of table and chair. So it was okay. It wasn't as good as last time. And then we got back, we went to M&S and I bought a reduced chicken. This was £4.80 instead of £10. So I picked that up to go with a bit of leftover curry that I'm having for my dinner. So this curry we picked up in Costco yesterday, it's a butter chicken. And I wasn't going to have any originally, but you has left his, he's gone out. So Eddie and I are sharing his portion of curry and rice. And then we're having the chicken with it. And then I'll show you, we've just been out to Walt Luna and we've gone up to the Amazon locker to pick up my Amazon delivery that came yesterday. So I'll quickly show you that. So this is the Stay Fresh Bread Keeper and it comes with a cutting guide. So hopefully I can put my fresh loaves in there and it should hopefully keep it. It said expandable box with small air vents to allow just enough air to keep the bread fresh. It includes slicing guide to allow bread to be cut easily and evenly. So I'm gonna put my bread in there because my fresh loaf is sitting over here. Oh, someone's cut into the fresh loaf. Who's had that? Uh, Tom. Someone's already cut into my fresh loaf, look. Tom said, because the other bit was hard, I think. The yeah, the other one will be, will be now. So, uh, it's quite not lasting long enough to go into a bread keeper, but I'm going to stick it in anyway. This old loaf I need to make into bread crumbs and put in my freezer or into a jar. So, yeah, the curry leftover curry. You haven't had half of that. I have. More sauce. But then, obviously, we've got the... I've just turned it upside down because I didn't want it to burn, but this is the chicken. I probably won't show you my dinner fully when I get the rest of it out because you don't need to see a bit of leftover curry and a bit of chicken. I think the chicken, you're supposed to get your forks and make it into like pulled chicken and mix in this yogurt spice pot with it when it's done. So that's that. And um, that's dirty, that fork. Have you got that out for me or is that already out? No, I can't That's not clean. And then um, my crochet went okay. I got, I had one, I noticed earlier that one of my rectangles, I hadn't done the border properly. So I undid it and redid the border. So I've finished that off, I sewed all my ends in, and then I've started on one of the new patterns for this week. So I've done three rows. So I'm gonna go upstairs and try and get that one done. Where are you going now? Okay. All right then. So that's it really, nothing else much to report on from today. Chloe and Ethan were here for a while and they've gone now. And Ewan's gone out to meet his friends for a drink. So it's gone from being a really, really frantic house to be, so Kath was supposed to come here and crochet here. And in the end I said to her, we might as well go to Starbucks because Chloe and Ethan are here, Ewan's here, Tom's here and Daddy's here. And it's just like, there's no quiet space in the house. If we'd have come in the kitchen to crochet, everyone would have wanted to come in to get food. So it wouldn't have been ideal. And then the living room, Ethan was sitting in. The top floor already was in. Down in the front room, Co was there. And obviously Tom and you were in the bedrooms. So there was nowhere space for us to go unless we went to sit in the shed. <laughs> so we, I just said to her, should we go to Starbucks instead? So that's what we did. And uh, I'm going to sit down now and try and watch some Vlogtober or something before I go to bed. Back on her trusty mat over there. Lighting up a yawn. At least she got her walk in today because we didn't get one in yesterday. Oh, did we get one in yesterday? Might have done actually. You alright, Luna? You okay? You okay? You a good doggy? You a good doggy? Look at your ear going. Good girl. So that's me done for today, I think. I'm going to eat my bit of curry, have my bit of chicken, and maybe a chocolate mousse and then I'm going to go and sit and watch some TV so I sh and do a bit of crochet so I shall oh that's one thing I haven't done is I've not showed you my crochet rectangles just bear with me so I just need to be careful there's no curry on the side anywhere where I'm putting these but um, that's one of them I'll lay them out and show you them all together but that's the red and green one that's the duck egg blue that's the, I think it's called Spring Meadow. Just make a bit of space. That's the, I think it's Eucalyptus. That's the Aloe. There's two different types of red. One's red and one's crimson. I think that's the red. The other one was the crimson. And that's the gold. 
So let me show you them laid out so you can see all eight of them together. I think they're more or less the same size and shape by the looks of it. They need blocking, the, curl, the corners are rolling up a little bit because it needs blocking. So by blocking, if you're not a knitter or crochet, all that means is like either steaming or just wetting and soaking and then putting out onto a mat and being pinned down so that they, the stitches all sort of settle down and they go into their natural shape. So this is my rectangles, all done from week one. I'm really pleased with how they've turned out.